Fisher & Pykel Healthcare OptiFlow Junior 2 is a nasal cannula specifically designed for the delicate anatomy and flow requirements of your smallest patients on nasal high flow therapy. It uses new WaveFlex technology for enhanced prong retention and offers sizes to fit a wide range of patients while retaining the original benefits of OptiFlow Junior. It's the next generation of care. OptiFlow Junior 2 has five sizes in its range. Our newest extra small cannula released for the smallest of patients. The purpose of the in-service video is to explain how to correctly fit and use the OptiFlow Junior 2 nasal cannula. This in-service video has been split into three parts. Fitting cannula, removing cannula, replacing cannula. Important! Before application of the cannula, follow your hospital protocol for skin preparation and gas source setup. Fitting the OptiFlow Junior 2 cannula. Select appropriate cannula size. Recommended narrow occlusion is approximately 50%. Patient weight should only be used as a guide. The infant's nair should be the primary consideration. Choose appropriate cannula size. In this case, the patient is a medium. Before application of the cannula, follow your hospital protocol for skin preparation. The medium size cannula selected can now be removed from the packaging. Connect to the Fisher and Pykel Healthcare circuit. Check the connection by feeling the airflow through the prongs. The circuit can be secured to the bedding using the tubing clip. Remove the first backing tabs from the wiggle pads too and avoid touching the adhesive. Keep the second backing tabs in place. Insert the cannula into the nares. Ensure the cannula bridge rests close to the nose without touching the septum. Do not stretch the cannula during application. Stick the wiggle pads too to the patient's cheeks Remove the second backing tabs and stick the wiggle pads too onto the cheeks one at a time. OptiFlow Junior 2 Nasal Cannula Checks Ensure the recommended narrow occlusion is approximately 50%. Ensure the cannula bridge rests close to the nose without touching the septum. Ensure the patient does not lie on the tubing, as this may apply pressure to the patient's ears or face. Check Summary Check 1. Size and Space Check 2. Sensitive Septum Check 3. Tidy Tubing Readjust if required Removing the OptiFlow Junior 2 cannula. Place fingertip on the outside edge of the wiggle pads too, and gently peel the cannula away from the wiggle pads too. Starting from the outside, peel towards the nose, replacing the wiggle pads too. Remove the OptiFlow Junior 2 cannula. Use a damp cloth to wipe the patient's skin and the underside of the wiggle pads too, while gently peeling away from the patient's face. Adhere the replacement wiggle pads too to the cannula. Remove the first backing tabs and stick the wiggle pads too onto the patient's cheeks. Remove the second backing tabs and stick onto the patient's cheeks. Warning! Appropriate patient monitoring, e.g. oxygen saturation, must be used at all times. Failure to monitor the patient, e.g. in the event of an interruption to gas flow, may result in serious harm or death. We hope you have enjoyed this in-service video on the Fisher & Pykel Healthcare OptiFlow Junior 2 Nasal Cannula. 
please contact your local representative for further information about these or any other Fisher & Paykel healthcare products or therapies, or visit www.fphcare.com.